20 million people under the care of the UNHCR. Do you think sometimes the numbers are so huge that people almost just start seeing statistics? They, if they know of the numbers at all, and many people don't, but if they do, do you think they just start seeing blocks of people, blocks of numbers rather than individuals? Yeah, I do. And that's even, the numbers are even higher. In fact, it's 40 to 50 million that are displaced and uprooted. Um, so, so yes, and I think also with Africa, it's that same thing they speak about Africa, and they say donor fatigue, or they, all these horrible things we, we call that, you know, when they, people just hear it's another famine, another crisis, or that, it's just never going to, and people get very, you know, frustrated with, well, what can be done, and I think that's why this time, where there are these new things, these millennium goals that are being talked about, these new developments, these villages, or all these different ways, these new inventions and things that we have that, that, uh, that it is possible now, that it's not just we should keep putting band-aids, we've just got ideas to kind of fix it, but there are new things and new plans that uh, I think if we all pull together and, and really work together, there are real big solutions that will solve, uh, solve the problems in a different way and really go from the ground up and not just be kind of, you know, I think the, that, that thing they say, if you can give a certain amount of money for, for uh, um, fertilizer, you know, and, and help people grow their crops, or you don't give that money, and then, you know, two years later, you're giving a hundred times that money in food aid. So we need to start thinking in that different way and, and doing preventative measures. That must make you particularly then frustrated about the crisis that seem forgotten somehow. I mean, we, we, we have heard a lot about Darfur this year, and it's right that we have. It's got the attention the world should be giving it. But then there are other refugee crises around the world, Chechen refugees. Yeah. People really don't seem to remember at all. No, UNHCR works in over 110 countries. So, yes, there, there are so many. Um, and why is Afghanistan is one that no. I think that people really feel it has been, you know, been taken care of. It's on its way. People are returning. There's different, and I saw a lot of people recently. I was in Pakistan. I saw a lot of people getting in, in trucks and just crying. And even UNHCR staff concerned knowing that they're going into an area that's not developed, that there's no school, there's no water, there's no, but they're returning back because they cannot stay. And, you know, all of us on the outside are saying, oh, good, there's movement, oh, good, there's development. And, and really, it's not, uh, it's not developed enough. And then there's, there's so, so yeah, there, there, are, there are so many, so many things going on in the world, and it's overwhelming. What more can be done? Condoleezza Rice today was saying America has taken in more refugees than any other country, 50,000 I think it is this year. Mm. What more should we be doing? Well, I think, you know, and like we were discussing, so America was founded on refugees, so we have a, and, a, you know, we have the ability to take in a lot. We're a very wealthy country. Um, so, but yes, America has taken in 50,000. There are over 17 million. Um, and many other countries that don't have the wealth that America has have taken in and into a burden that's equal. Um, but I do think, you know, I'm, I'm somebody who's been learning about the point seven. I've been learning about what the other countries in Europe have done. Um, I do feel America should step up. Uh, I think we can. I think the American people are certainly generous, good, compassionate people. They would want to. They would want their government to. If the people understood what exactly that is, I do believe they would encourage their government and, um, and I know we can afford it. I hope we do. Um, I think that relief is wonderful, and I'm thrilled. I think um, there's just a lot more to do, so we all can keep pushing forward. Thank you very much.